Hey guys, Andrew here, and I'm at the home of the Valspar Championship, also known as the Copperhead Course in Innisbrook. And today I'm going to be going over, or like kind of diagnosing uh, my rounds at Orange County for the CJJ Spring Break uh, Junior Invitational. I actually, I'll save the scores for the end, just in case you don't want to know what they are until the tournament rounds come out. So I'll save those for the end. I played not too bad. First day, uh, I played four holes really well. I was one under, and then it started raining and was windy. So the conditions weren't ideal for scoring. I didn't play the worst, but I didn't play the best either. Uh, it was a mediocre uh, round, and I would say that my putting really struggled, and just my accuracy and my confidence in my game really struggled, struggled as well. I didn't trust uh, myself in hitting the shots that I knew I could actually hit, so I therefore kind of babied a lot of shots that probably I could have hit a lot better and probably scored a little bit better with uh, if I just trusted myself and trusted my swing and trusted my game. But other than that, my putting was really bad. So in the second round, uh, I decided to switch putters. So I went with my trusty tailor-made spider blade for so long. And like, it wasn't even that. It was just, I, I, I felt like I needed something different. So my dad gave me his uh, Scotty Cameron uh, Golo mallet to try and use for this for the second round. And it wasn't too bad. I still, well, the putting wasn't great, but it wasn't as bad as the first day as you see in the video. Um, the first day, it was not not a lot of fun, and I'll just leave it at that. But the second day, my play at the beginning was like extremely awful. Probably the worst I've played in a, a long time. I made a really stupid, or really stupid two bogeys on one and two, and then bounced back pretty well after that, I would say. Uh, and then you'll see in the turnarounds that the, the last couple holes coming down uh, in, the, in the final round were pretty spectacular in my opinion. And, and you'll hear from my dad's commentary. He is, he is there to criticize me when I need to be criticized, but he's also there to give me praise when I deserve praise. And for the first two holes, he criticized me a lot. He, he was telling me, or he was telling you guys to the camera what was wrong with my game and what I needed to work on and just, he, if, if you think he's being discouraging, then you're wrong. If you want to get somewhere like you have to have supporting parents, and that's part of your parents be supporting. They have to be um, on your back, I would say, for a, a while so you can learn the ropes and get a feel for things. And after that, they kind of just let you loose and do whatever you want. Hopefully, when they let you loose, uh, you make the right decisions. So just to him, that's him telling me what I need to work on. So I'm going to be going out doing some wedge practice later on. It's kind of cold out right now. But yeah, I'm going to do some short game practice later on and hopefully pick up the, the pace for this next tournament coming up at uh, Innisbrook. But other than that, um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Now, if you don't want to hear what I shot the first and second round and what I placed in the tournament, you turn the camera off now or uh, turn, your, turn your screen off now and um, I'll give you like three seconds. So one, two, three. Okay, so if you stayed, you can hear what I, you can hear what I shot. First day I went 78, and then second day I shot a 73. So I was one under through four holes the first day. The rain picked up, ended up shooting like one, one over on the front. I made two other bogeys. And then on the back nine I exploded. Uh, I couldn't make a putt to save my life, and I couldn't hit a shot to save my life either. So I made a bogey. Or I made like five bogeys on the, or four bogeys on the back, or no, five bogeys on the back nine to um, shoot a five over par uh, 78. So other than that, that wasn't a very great round, but it, it still kept me in somewhat of a contention for the tournament. I think I was like in 15th or like 16th place. So it wasn't too bad. So I got to the course the next day, uh, worked on a little more putting, switched to my dad's putter like I mentioned, and was hoping that maybe I could pick up some pace on the on the players out there. It was windy that day and I, I felt like I could make up quite a bit of ground if I just played a, a solid uh, round of even par or maybe just a little bit better or a little bit worse, but nothing too bad. So first and second holes I made bogey bogey and then after that I was kind of eat pretty much even kill, made pars throughout. I bogeyed eight, birdied nine, so 
pretty solid comebacks. But then number, or like the back nine, I'm gonna leave that for the tournament rounds. All right, I can tell you up to 16, but I want 16, 17, 18 to be in the tournament video because that's what you really should be watching. But I'm gonna leave uh, the whole like suspense for 16, 17, 18 just because it's, those are really well played holes in my opinion, and according, according to my dad as well. Uh, I did really well, so I'll save those for later. But I did shoot 73 that round, so obviously I must have done something pretty decent in order to get back from two over to one over in the toughest conditions and on the toughest holes on the course. Uh, so yeah, I just went 78, 73, and then after Shamrock 73 came tied for 10th place. So really not not too bad saying I kind of shot myself in the foot the first round by shooting a 78 and putting myself out of the running. But I, I did battle back quite nicely and that's what a lot of people like to see. They like to see, although you may have to deal, or you may have shot a bad round, how do you deal with that adversity of trying to come back with an even better round the next day? And I felt like I did do pretty well and came back with a, a good round the next day. So I can't complain. I was pretty, pretty happy about that. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Leave a like below if you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.